Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is History of Futurama Season 1, Episode 4 of my show, but this is about Episode 3 of Season 1. And Episode 3 is known as I Room um, Mate. Um... Uh, but before I start talking about it, I just want to mention something. Since we're on episode 3, that means we got about 6 more videos left for this season. I might put that in the description. Uh, I say 6 more because, uh, there's 9 episodes total in season 1, and now that we're on episode 3, it, there's 6 left. So I'm gonna probably put that in the description for you guys, just so that you don't get confused about that. Um... Now, um, basically the way this episode starts off is for most, as you guys know, for most of the series, um, like in the first two episodes, Fry is basically living at the Planet Express delivery company building. That's because in this, in the timeline in the series, we're, we're, in the Futurama series, in the timeline he's in, he doesn't have an apartment or complex to go to. Uh, so he's basically living at the place where he works and stuff. And uh, basically what happens is, um, after that, um, after he causes a bit of a uh, minor ruckus after using the um, shower and stuff like that, um... Hermes then calls like a little um, meeting to basically explain that their electric bill has been climbing up faster than a green snake up a sugar cane. I, I don't know if it's one of his catchphrases, but uh, <laughs> and he says that <laughs> obviously someone's been using a lot of juice. Well, well actually. Actually, the electric bill thing actually happens in the ninth episode, which is the last episode. Uh, but basically, um, uh, which is the last episode of this season. I'm sorry I brought that up. I didn't mean to do that. I kind of skipped ahead there. But anyway, Fry, like I said, he's living at the Planet Express building because he, um, he doesn't have a place to live in the future in the series. Uh, but... Um, anyway, he's using the shower to basically shower, and then Hermes says that, uh, stuff has gone missing in the Planet Express building for over a month, and, and he realizes that Fry's been in the building for over a month, uh, so he's put him in charge of finding out who's responsible for, uh, using the stuff that's gone missing and then maybe which is ironic because he's the one that's responsible for it going missing in the first place. Oh, oh oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry but <laughs> I'm sorry that's just <laughs> episode which is the final episode of season one <laughs> there's a song in the future of a series which is the robot ale song the dialogue and that one is funny <laughs> well one of the bits of dialogue <laughs> i'll explain what that bit of dialogue is when i get to that episode i just had to bring it up since i love it right now i'm sorry um anyway after some after some basically um talking, they decide to talk to Fry about having him move into his own place, but he says that, they, that he doesn't want to because he's fine just living in the building where he is, and he's still watching the TV, um, uh, but then while he's watching it with Bender, he notices the couch is moving, and he wonders why the TV is getting so far away, and... And that's when he realizes the others have put him in, um, 
uh, put him on the couch outside of the building, and then Hermes basically tells him that they'll bill him for the couch. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's it, oh my god. But anyway, uh, basically what happens is, um, after that, because of them kicking him out of the Planet Express building and stuff, uh, he doesn't have a place to live in the 3,000, so he basically, after some persuasion with, he asks Spender if he can go live with him, and he says that it, he, he doesn't know if it's okay because his apartment is kind of cramped and stuff, and, and then, um, uh, basically what happens is, um, after Fry reassures him about that, he, they decide to go to his apartment, which is basically, basically this just enclosed space. Now, now this episode is also going to have a bit of a funny, ironic ending from Bender's point of view. Uh, what I mean by both funny and ironic is because of the fact that he mentions the closet. I, I'll explain more about the closet later, uh, but I just wanted to get that out of the way, though. Um... Basically, um, basically Fry, um, is living with Bender in his apartment and then, which is basically, for most of this episode, um, up until the ending, it's basically just this big, uh, closet, uh, like, um, which is an enclosed space. Well, to Fry, it's a closet, but to Bender, it's a room, you know, and I, I think it's because he's a robot, and robots don't take up much space, uh, so he thinks a small space, like a closet-like object, makes sense, and he thinks that the, uh, I, I'm just getting some technical details here, and he thinks that the actual build room outside the closet itself is the closet, I, I mean, but I, I'm not trying to get technical, I'm just explaining some minor details about it and then basically what happens is after that um 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 Fry is trying to sleep but uh but he can't because of the fact that um he's in a cramped space with Bender and then after a while um he shows back up at the Planet Express building where he works, and then they're wondering how he's like, and then basically, well, L Leela wonders what's wrong with them, and then Fry mentions that it's Bender's apartment. <laughs> he had to basically do something with it, and now that it's even more cramped and stuff because of that, and then Leela says that he's got to tell Bender that he's moving out, and then basically what happens is after that, um... Uh, Bender goes to where Fry is in the Planet Express building, and then, um, he, that's, uh, then he and Bender have a bit of a laugh, and, uh, that's when he tells him that he's moving out of his apartment, and trying to find a new place, and then basically what happens is, Bender wonders why he's moving out, and then Bender says, uh, Fry says that it, his place is too cramped for him and stuff, and then, uh, basically, uh, what happens is after that, um, uh, Bender does get upset that he leaves, and then, um, but because of that, Fry doesn't have a place to live again, uh, so basically, they're trying to look for apartments for him, and then after a little bit of a monta montage, um, after a little bit of a montage of trying to find, uh, places for Fry, um, Professor Farnsworth gets this, uh, phone call about a scientist friend of his that passed away called Dr., uh, Dr. Mabusu, I think, and he's like, sad, sad news about my old colleague, Dr. Mabusu. And then basically, Fry wonders if it, the if Professor Farnsworth's old colleague is his if his um, living arrangement is good enough for Fry to live in now that he's not using it. And then they say it is, so they go over there to check it out. And then 
and uh, basically the landlady of this, of of the apartment building, uh, basically explains that uh, the professor's friend was a little bit of an eccentric when it came to that stuff, and then basically after he sees it, Fry thinks that it's okay, and then. He decides to move into there, and then basically what happens is after that, um, um, the people of the Planet Express crew uh, throw Fry a, a um, sort of a uh, apartment welcoming uh, party thing, and then they give him, and then Leela gives him this present which is basically a miniature fruit tree which is basically a, a tree with miniaturized fruit like a bananas oranges that kind of stuff anyway um and then uh what happens is basically after that um <laughs> after that um they start watching uh this uh so robot soap opera um Uh, which is known as All My Circuits, which is one of Bender's favorite uh, TV shows. Now, I say robot soap opera uh, because it's basically a soap opera, but it's got all robot-based characters. In the series, it's got, like, Calculon uh, and stuff, and, and, and that was another minor character that I didn't bring up in the character bio video. I'm sorry I didn't bring that character up. It's just... Um, he's only in a couple of episodes, and some of the episodes that he's in are either from his own TV show or as a minor character kind of thing. But anyway, um, that's why I didn't bring him up. And I didn't bring another character up in when I did the character bio video, another robot character up when I did the character bio video because... Of the fact that it was another minor robot who is sort of going to be the antagonist of the final episode somewhat of season one. I'm not going to explain who that character is, but uh, I'll just, I just wanted to get that out of the way. But anyway, um, basically, um... After a little commotion that Bender causes when they have the the apartment welcoming party for Fry, uh, because uh, uh, whenever Bender entered the building, the TV in Fry's apartment would short circuit, but not because it was broken or anything, but because it was a se the reason why. It was short circuit. It wasn't because it was a broken. I'm just getting some technical. Info out of the way here. Uh, it's because the TV in Fry's new apartment in his apartment building and the, all the TVs in the series in that apartment building are satellite uh, dish based TVs, meaning that they do have the normal TV programs on them, uh, but they're connected to a satellite dish which transmits the waves down. To the earth and stuff and feeds it to the TV station. So essentially, and the reason, and then after uh, Bender leaves a couple of times and comes back, um, the tenant, the landlady of the building says that pardon me, she doesn't care what he's doing with the, with the lobster the Cyclops and the, and everything, but every tenant on this floor is experiencing problems with their TVs. And then Bender basically says that, well, it's really annoying and they gotta find out what's causing it. And then she says, relax, because she tells them that this device will find out what the issue is, what's causing the source of the interference. And then after using it a couple of times, she brings it, after using it to find where it is, she brings it to where Bender's antenna is, and then his um, antenna 
and then when it gets to his antenna, it acts, uh, gives off strong readings, and that's when they realize that Bender's antenna is the one that's causing it. And then Leela explains that to him, and then basically Bender gets upset with that because he says that his um, antennas never uh, shorted out his old TV. But again, there's a good reason for why his antenna never shorted out his old TV. The reason why was because the TV, like I said before, the TV in Fry's apartment in the series, in this episode, is power, it gets its TV programs from a satellite dish that transmits it down. And Bender's comes from like a cable box in... in my case, I, I guess you could kind of say mine is sort of a satellite dish, but it's more like a DVR thing. Um, so it, it, it is somewhat, but it, I'm sorry to get in a little bit of personal information there. My own personal information of, of the, with the TV. It's still cable, but it's not because of the DVR and stuff. But I'm, I'm just getting a little bit of personal information about my own apartment out of the way. I, I apologize about that. And then basically, they ask Bender that he has to leave. And then uh, Bender says that he does have, he wants, he does decide to leave and he wants Fry to go with them. But Fry tells him that he wants to stay in the apartment. And then, um, and then Bender basically, um, gets upset that Fry doesn't want to come back with him to his apartment. And then as he after he leaves, um, the people realize that the TV show is back on so they go back to finish watching it in Fry's room. And then after that, in the next scene, what happens is after the rest of the people on the floor of the apartment building where Fry's living in this episode uh, leave, Leela gets upset with Fry about having that mob kick Bender out, but then Fry tries to downplay it that Bender likes being likes mobs, but then Leela says that only when he's in them, and he knows that he only likes them when he's in them, and he, and of course Fry knows that he he really hurt his feelings, and then basically Fry gets upset about that, and they try to find him, and. While they're looking for him, um, while they're looking for him, uh, what, well, Leela goes looking for him and then she can't find him, but then he, she does find him and he's, um, sleeping on the couch because he hasn't drank, drank any alcohol to fuel his power cells, so he's basically sober. Uh, which, in this case, since he's a robot that's powered by alcohol, being sober is a bad thing. <laughs> because he needs alcohol to fuel his power cells, and he hasn't been able to drink any because of because of his depression uh, with Fry and everything. Um, and because of that, uh, when Leela finds him... Um... She says that he, he's so sobered up that his mouth's starting to rust. And then basically, um, they try to convince him to drink alcohol, but he says he doesn't want to. And he can't make them. And then basically, uh, what happens is after that, um, Bender goes out again. And then after that, what happens is... Um, uh, Leela then goes to talk to Fry about the situation with Bender and stuff and that she's worried and she's telling Fry that he has to apologize for upsetting Bender for what he did and then he so he does decide to go look for him and stuff and then uh, afterward they do find him but he's still sober so he's, his mouth is still rusted uh, because he's not drinking any alcohol. Um, so him, again, being sober is a bad thing for him since he's a robot powered by alcohol anyway. Um, but anyway, um, 
after that, what happens is after Fry, when Fry sees him like that, he gets upset that he um, got Bender so depressed that he wouldn't drink any alcohol, and he wants him to he wants to go back to his apartment with him. Um, but Leela says that they can't go back to Fry's apartment because of the TV thing, and. And then that's when Bender comes up with the solution where he decides to basically use his, uh, these hedge trimmer like things to cut off his antenna. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, which basically, uh, what it does is it causes him to lose his antenna, which in this case is a good thing because his antenna is part of the reason why, uh, there was interference with the satellite dish. Uh, so in this case, him getting his antenna cut off was a good thing, um, but after he gets it cut off, and after uh, and then after Fry, uh, Leela, and Bender go back to the apartment to finish watching the TV show, and they see this scene where uh, the human is telling Calculon that basically um, he was his best friend and he, and he shouldn't have done something like that to him to hurt him and then basically he, he apologizes and then basically Calculon says apology accepted after all you're only human and then Leland says that they, they ought to take an, a lesson from that and then they sort of say it backwards in this case it's Bender saying it and Fry's the one apologizing when it should be Fry apologizing to Bender for... In this case, it's Bender apologizing to Fry when in this case, it should be Fry apologizing to Bender. So it's sort of the same thing, except it's backwards. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I'm not... I, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Anyway, basically after that, Fry and Bender make up for both that and they decide to stay in his apartment. Uh, but when Bender sees that he doesn't have his antenna, he gets depressed about that, and, um, um, Fry says that he's really sorry about what happened to Bender's antenna, and if they f manage to find it, could they, like, tape it back on again and stuff like that, and then he wonders if it's a, he, he says it's worth a try, and then he guess, and then basically... Uh, this cop robot and the human cop look for it and they find it and then they tape it back on and then after that basically what happens is Fry goes back to live with Bender in his apartment and then after Bender says that they'll get a couple of chairs maybe a puppy and stuff like that and then Fry says about it still being a little cramped and then that's when Bender mentions about there being a window in the closet <laughs> and then when he opens the door to his bedroom, uh, when Fry sees what Bender considers to be his closet, he's like, oh, Bender, this place is huge. This place is huge. Bender, why don't I just live here? And then when Bender hears that, he's like, in the closet? Ah, oh, humans. And, and that's basically where this episode stops. I'm sorry. I just have to laugh. And, and that is the end of the episode, though. But that's actually the funny ending I wanted to mention. Because the outside of the building that Bender thinks is the closet, which, it, which is the part of his apartment that he's not in, which is the one with the floor and a huge thing. It's just, that's just funny that, I get it, he's a robot, and he's used to living in a small, cr cramped space like that, but still, that is actually kind of funny when you think about it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, so, uh, if you guys like this video when I post it, just please give this video the real best you guys can, and I will see you guys next time for the next video. Um, but until then, like I always tell you with this series, I will first... Uh, just give this video the real best you guys can, and I will see you guys next time for the next video. And like I always tell you with this series, fun on a bun!